Greetings friends, this is your prophet, Prophet Great. Please, today is the very first time of watching our channel. We entreat you that you subscribe, you like, and you share, and also drop your comments. God bless you. Praise God. Today, we are looking at five steps to walk in glory. Now, there's something you must understand, the will of God for your life. God created you to walk in glory. God created you in his very image so you can walk in glory, so that you can experience glory on the earth. That's what Jesus is speaking. He said, let your light so shine that men may see your light and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So God's will for your life is to walk in glory on the earth. The Bible is speaking, it says, in the book of Ecclesiastes, say, I've seen an abomination on the earth. I've seen Satan riding on horses while his sons are trekking. It's an abomination. It's never God's will for you to walk in shame, to walk in lack and want. It's never God's will for your life to be tattered. Shame, disgrace, begging for what to eat. No, that's not the will of God for you. That's why Jesus came and died for you. The Bible speaks, it says, Know ye not the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ? Though he was rich, but for your sake, he became poor. So that you, through his poverty, shall become rich. So God wants you to walk in prosperity. God wants to walk in honor and dignity. God wants to be the head and not the tail. God wants you to be above and not beneath. God wants you to learn to nations of the earth. Not to borrow. Not to be begging for what to eat. Praise God. So what are these steps? Number one, you must be born again. You must be born again. The Bible is speaking in the book of Colossians chapter 1 verse number 27. Christ in me, the hope of glory. Christ in you, the hope of glory. So when you receive Jesus, Jesus empowers your life to begin to manifest glory. Remember John chapter 1 verse number 12. But to them that receive him, to them he gave them power to become the sons of God. That power is infusing you to manifest God's glory on the earth as a king and to also reign in life as an honorable personality representing God on the earth. Praise God. Number two is God's presence. Remember what Moses said. Moses said, if your presence will not go with us, Father, it is dangerous. Because it is the presence of God that guarantees glory. So when you carry the presence of God, you walk in glory. Praise God. Moses returned from the mountain with strange presence. And the Bible said men and women could not behold his face, could not behold the glory of God around him. So you want to walk in glory, you must be a man of his presence. You must be a man that carry God's presence. You must be a man that is always surrounded with the presence of God. Praise God. Number three, you must be a man of prayer. You must be a man of fasting. We saw Moses went on top of the mountain. He fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. When he returned, he returned in a strange glory. He returned in a strange glory. Amazing things began to happen. Strange things began to happen. Victory everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles that has never happened. The earth opening its mouth and swallowing people. Strange presence. Praise God. So, for you to walk in glory, you must be a man of fasting. You must be a man of prayer. Praise God. Number four steps to walk in glory is praise and worship. For you to walk in glory, you must be a man that knows how to praise God. You must be a man or a woman that knows how to worship God. Remember, in the book of John chapter 4 verse 24, the Bible said, God is a spirit and they that must worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. For such is God looking for, looking for them for what? To glorify them. Looking for them for what? To beautify their lives. To empower them so that they can walk in his glory. Praise God. We also saw on the day of Solomon's 
temple dedication, we saw that Solomon stood and began to worship God. And the Bible said the glory of the Lord came down. So much so that even the priest could not minister. Men that know how to worship God are men that attract his glory. Men that know how to praise God are men that attract his glory. That's why the Bible speaks. It says the Lord inhabit the praises of his people. And when God inhabits your praise, you walk in glory. You walk in honor. You walk in dignity. You walk in prosperity. You walk in strange alarming testimonies. Praise God. Number five and the last one. Steps to walk in glory. You must be a man of sacrifice. You must be a man of sacrifice. Speaking about Solomon, the Bible says, And Solomon offered unto the Lord 1,000 rams, and that same night God showed up in his life and asked him, What do you want? Ask me anything. And Solomon got the glory of the Lord. That sacrifice empowered him. That sacrifice launched him into the realm of a man of wisdom. Man of exceptional wisdom. Man of exploit. That all that kings were coming and bowing before him. All that kings were coming to reference him. All that kings were coming to magnify him. When the queen of Sheba came to Solomon, she said, when I heard of your exploit and your greatness and your glory, I doubted it. But what I came and saw on ground, even half of it, I was not told of. Praise God. What launched him to walk in the realm of such glory? It was sacrifice. He offered 1,000 rounds. Now listen to me. Sacrifice is dynamic. Sacrifice is powerful. When you offer sacrifice, sacrifice has the capacity to launch you into straight realms of glory and honor and prestige. Praise God. I pray for you. The Lord God of heaven empower you to walk in glory in Jesus' name. Shalom. God bless you.